video evolution debunked video four in the series uh this is just a a video that he i i don't know if he himself edited it or if someone else did but basically it's a bunch of shitty arguments it's a bunch of propaganda it's a bunch of debunked arguments and in fact it is very bad <laughs> at debunking it first talks about irreducible complexity um and it shows a bunch of creatures that no one, like, the only irreducibly complex things that people have talked about are the um, blood clotting system and the f bacteria flagellum. And there are two others that I've forgotten, but they don't even show uh, any of them in these pictures here. They just show a bunch of argument or a bunch of pictures to make you think that everything is irreducibly complex and it isn't. And you can refer to a couple of uh, CD00 K's videos. Or CDW CDK007 is his videos uh, about the irreducibly complex um, argument on uh, the flagellum. I made a and also I'll put some links in there. And um, basically, yes, those items might be irre irreducibly complex as they are now, but that doesn't mean that they weren't or they they couldn't have evolved for example um if you take away uh four fifths of the proteins in a um uh the flagellum then you get the type three secretion system, which is basically a syringe uh so to cl and plus michael b he the one who made who came up with the argument of irreducibly complex uh systems didn't do any research he hasn't proved or even done any research showing that these systems are indeed irreducibly complex. Uh, for example, we don't even know what half the proteins in the flagellum do, so to say that they can't uh, work without them is ignorant. Um, uh, let's see here. Next, they the movie talks about um, how the theory of natural selection was morphed in answer to Behe, or the irreducibly complex system, th uh, by adding mutations. That's just plain retarded, because that the uh, mutation idea uh, came was came out of uh, Mendelian genetics, and the reason why it wasn't involved in uh, the original Darwinian evolution is because Darwin had no fucking idea what genes were. He he didn't know what tr uh, what the mode of variation was or what the point of variation was. Uh, so, and mutation the mutation arguments have been in there. The mutation point of natural selection has been in there for years, decades, even, uh, I'd go so far to say a half a century, um, it, it, so it wasn't changed because of irreducibly complexity. Uh, next, it talks about how m mutations um, are caused by radiation and, and chemicals. Those aren't the only two things that cause ra uh, mutations. Those are usually associated with bad mutations, such as extra limbs growing out of everywhere. But there are other mutations, such as uh, the DNA being coded wrong, for example, and like RNA is more easily um, is more easily messed up because it doesn't have a I guess you could say spell checker. For example, if you look at um, retroviruses such as HIV, they have a hundred times more chance of being uh, of uh, mutating than the host, i.e., humans. Um, for example, most um, HIV viruses have at least one difference like in one no i w i wouldn't w from what i was reading it say that they are different in at least one way than the um the cell that it came from uh additionally they say that then they bring up the Dawkins video that has been destroyed because first of all that was edited even the one in this video is edited from the edited version uh he was first of all tricked into giving that interview, and second of all, it was edited afterwards. I'll put up a link um, to a site where Dawkins talks about that particular video, but that's just malicious propaganda. Uh, let's see here. Then they talk about the how a watch cannot be, uh, isn't, uh, isn't evolved. That's just a really bad analogy because first of all, watches don't reproduce, and second of all, um, 
actually, yes, watches have evolved in the sense of technological evolution. For example, uh, watches used to just be um, sundials. They then they evolved into the kind of rudimentary uh, watches in the 1700s and 1800s, and finally we have the digital watches that we have today. So yes, there is an evolution of a watch, but it isn't. It's a really bad analogy because watches can't reproduce. Then it goes on to say that the flawless universe and uh, all the flawless crea creations in it point to a designer, but nothing is flawless. For example, a giraffe, uh, a nerve goes down from its larynx 15 feet down its neck and then back up to its brain without feeling anything on its neck, without sensing anything on its neck. That's If that's flawless, then my duck-footedness is flawless. Um, nothing is flawless, and that the... F um, the flaws in uh, nature and in uh, creatures point to evolution and, po and our arguments against a designer. Uh, for example, the panda's thumb comes off of its wrist, and that points to uh, an evolution uh, that it, it came out afterwards, after the hand was already evolved. Um... Let's see here. Then, at a for about three minutes, it goes into a emotional argument, just showing you a bunch of slide a slideshow of pictures ripped off of Discovery Channel and um, National Geographic. That's okay. This uh, supposedly debunked evolution, but it was just a shitty video with a with a lot of really cool pictures. I like the pictures, especially the one of the toucans. I like toucans. Uh, possibly one of my favorite animals. But I like the panda. The panda is my favorite animal. Uh, because as you can see by my my uh, handle, uh, pandas are really cool. They are the one. They're really big herbivores because they got like they eat bamboo, and they could probably rip your arm off anyway. I just love pandas. Uh, okay, so anyway, this video was shit. Don't watch it. If you, this video made me want to slip my wrists. That's how bad it was. I was watching it. And I was like, God, my. Uh, and then I, I almost took my pencil out of my pocket. Good thing I wasn't near any scissors. <laughs> I was watching in the bathroom. Good thing there were no scissors in there. Well, um, thanks for watching, listening. I guess since I don't have any video, ever. <laughs> uh, talk to you later.